Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is Holbrook Hotel, where we'll be spending a night at a flea-ridden hotel, but someone's after us. So, let's begin. Oh. Go to room 297. I like this. I like the, I like the titles. Did they disappear? Oh, I thought they might disappear as we're going. Apparently not. A game by Cooper Refuge? Okay, apparently, allegedly, the developer of this game is 14 years old. Oh, you, you know you're staying in a bad place when you've got the police ticker tape all over the doors. 297, eh? Get your dinner from the fridge. You know what? This room isn't as bad as I thought it might be. And look at that, we've got a reflection in the window. Can we turn on the tap? No? Um, for a moment there, for a brief moment, I didn't think that was a toothbrush. I think that was something we need to take to the toilet and pee on, if you get my meaning. Um, but it's it looks like a toothbrush to me now. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, the Holbrook Hotel. What wonders will we see in here? I mean... Yeah, I mean, you could have a you could have had a little table here for your lamp. I don't know. Why is the lamp on the floor? I mean, you could just pull this over here and put the lamp on. Can we watch the TV? Oh, we can. A hundred channels and nothing's on. Just the static. Get your dinner from the fridge. We can run. We have a running. Do we have an inventory? We do not. Hmm. Put all the water bottles in a ready meal. Not the best meal, but it'll do. Let's microwave this bad boy up. The aircon unit. It's a lovely night of rain. <laughs> did that did that beep? Did that mean it's done? Ah, there we go. Sit down and eat. And eat we shall. Well, there's a bit of... Don't know if this is mold. Don't know if this is mold. But we'll, we'll eat. We'll sit down and eat. Um, okay, here we go. Wow. How ravenous am I? <laughs> okay. That was... That was eating all the things. With a complimentary burp. I must be some tired... I'd like to know why I'm at this hotel. Like, what am I doing here? What's my story? But, um, brush my teeth. So, yes, we'll brush your teeth with what we thought was something else. Gotta get those molars. Gotta make sure all those little bits of chicken are not stuck in the teeth. Go to bed. I like the little Inception booms every time a new task comes on. Um, okay. So far, uh, of course, 3 a.m. Screams in the night. What was that? I think it came from apartment next to me. Listen. If I've learned anything from staying in hotel rooms, if you hear a scream coming from next door, you don't go and investigate. You pick up the phone. There is no phone here, though. Okay. You get your mobile. And you just call it in. You don't go and investigate. I mean, that should have been the... Oh, was this door open before? I don't think it was. Can we? No, we can't. And it wasn't even the apartment next door. It was two apartments down. Can we knock on someone else's door? Can they deal with this? My friend. I would not be just walking into someone else's room. The TV's on the floor. Oh, I'll keep the static on. A bit more light. Why not? Best to get the toilet. Okay. Everything seems okay. Everything seems fine here. The fridge door's open. No ready meals for me, again. Oh no, that's not a good sign. The window's open. Hello? Oh, okay. Um, run to elevator. What the hell were you? How far up are we? Um, okay. Yes. There we go. Uh, bye-bye. Oh, okay, you're stuck. Why do you look like a Simpson character? 
<laughs> I'm right here, buddy. What are you gonna do? Talk to the man. The man. Yeah, I don't know if the model of that character was based off Homer Simpson, but it looks very Simpsons-like. Have you seen this man? Ah, Mr. Stickman. <laughs> I have not. Local Herald. Frequent missings? Holbrook Oaks recently had a spike in unexplained disappearances. Residents have consistently reported hearing strange noises and screams around 3 a.m., the suspected time of disappearance. Law enforcement officials have responded by the crisis by implementing security measures, including the isolation of certain sections of the neighborhood in an effort to prevent further incidents. Despite these efforts, the source of the disappearances and the terrifying screams remains unknown. And there's something else down there, but it's uh, kind of cut off. Um, anyway, my friend, yes, there's a Homer Simpson type character upstairs. What do you want? I need to call the poli- I like your shirt. Yeah. It's got all the food stains on it and everything. Let's go. Thanks. Goodbye. Oh, no. We need... Oh, here we go. What do you want? We need to call the police. Do you have a phone? Thanks. Okay. Phone? Nearest phone is a couple of miles down the road. Five minutes drive. Where's the parking lot again? Outside this door. Take a left and then a right. Why does your hotel not have a goddamn phone in it, my friend? My good friend. My beer splattered, paunched, stomached reception mark guy. You've got a PC right there, but you've not got a phone. In the whole hotel, you don't have a phone. All right. Okay, I guess we're... Yeah, all right. We're outside in the... I'm just going to close that. I don't really want to investigate, because if he was up there... Hmm. I know he said it was to the left and to the right, but... The light source is oh, bringing me this way, and I'm intrigued. If this really was done by a 14-year-old, I'm kind of impressed already. What is this? What? Who? Hello. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Before we get to you, missing. That looks like a ghost of some description. What are you doing? Why? Why are you hugging a lamppost like that? What are you looking at? Hey, you. Can you help me get down? I'm too high up. My friend, you are not high up at all. All you have to do is put one leg down and you will be on the ground. Um, sure. Okay, here I go. <laughs> okay, have we involuntarily murdered a child? I think we have. Dum -dum -dum -dum. We're just going to leave the scene. Forget about the Homer Simpson character with a knife. We, we've, I think... Okay, less said about that, the better, I think. <laughs> Left and then a right. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm impressed. I mean... Oh. For a moment there, I thought that was the guy. No, you're just some... Hello? I'd be careful out there at this time of night. Why's that? You've already seen him, haven't you? You know what happened? Bye then. All right, find my car. Um, this doesn't look like a parking lot to me. Oh, ah, security, police. Sorry, boss says no one's allowed out of this area. What for? Place is on lockdown, because all the missings. All the missings. I wonder if I can't find something in these dumpsters to get past him. Um, someone just tried to kill me. I missed the part where that prompts my problem. What? Are you just like a renter cop? Are you police? If someone was trying to kill me, surely you'd like to check it out, no? You're not letting me pass, though. Okay. Something in the dumpsters. Why would I... Okay, let's go back to our, our friend over here. He was by a dumpster. Hello, my friend, who seems to know more about what's going on than I do. Hello? No, he's just... Okay. All right, let's search a dump dumpster, I guess. 
Oh, I see. I have to hold it down to search. Ah. Bloody police shirt. I like... <laughs> this won't be enough. I think there's more dumpsters by the hotel. Yeah, I don't think I really want to go back that way. Am I going to be dressing up as a police officer? All right. I mean, we have killed a child. I probably will have to flee the country now. But what what year is this set in as well? I'm getting I'm getting a vibe that it's not modern day era. So maybe I haven't seen any cameras. So I think we're good. Oh, there's some dumpsters here. Okay. No, sorry, that was just me scuffling around in the dumpster like a hobo. Are we on Skid Row here? Is that what's happening? <laughs> just... <laughs> Perfect. Now he won't recognize me at all. No, with my bloody stained police officer's shirt and the most ridiculous <laughs> Racho Marks kind of big nose and um, glasses routine. But hey ho, I guess I've just equipped them automatically. I still no, don't have a inventory. Well, let's try this out. Hello again. You don't recognize me now because I'm wearing the same shirt as you, but with jammy stains in the middle. And I've got glasses. Night shift too, huh? Yeah, slow night. Hmm. What do you need? I, I, I got a through. Okay, stay safe out there. Don't trust anybody shady looking. You mean like me? Oh, okay. We'll just... Let you go. I don't know what's happening with the side of your face, but I'd recommend going to a doctor about it. All right. Okay, so we are now to the parking lot, huh? Oh. Hey. What the fuck? You scared the shit out of me. Oh, hey, sorry, I guess. Hey, what are you doing over here? Um, I'm going to the parking lot. Why? Uh, I, uh, uh, I lost my, uh, my man medication. I think it's down this alley. Medication, eh? I guess I'll look. It sounds important. Hmm. If by medication you mean the old chop chop or some oxy, then I'm sure we will find something down here for you. Um, yes. Oh, can we... Does this take us back? Ah. I mean, this seems to be the parking lot, but... Can I... What's this? Oh. I'm not sure these are prescribed. Oh, I see. We kind of went back on ourselves. No, I don't think those are prescribed either. But anywho, let's give the crack addict what he needs. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you can have these keys I found. These are my car keys. Where did you get them? Crack, 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 crack. And he just flew away into the night. But <laughs> that's all crack addicts do. Hey man. There's high and then there's really high and then there's superhero high where taking enough amount of crack will make you fly. Well, let that be a warning, kids. Um, if you want the superpowers, you just got to get the crack. All right. Um... They're a boxy, but they're good. Is this my car? Ah, oh, it is. Okay. Call 911. I'm not in control. Oh, of course, we were going to find the, the phone. In the middle of nowhere. In the pouring rain. With crack addicts that can fly in Homer Simpson characters with knives. Right. Nine nine one, nine nine one, nine one one. What's your emergency? I got chased out of a hotel by a man with a knife. He looks suspiciously like Homer Simpson. 
Are you safe where you are right now? Um, I'm going to go with no. Okay, do you have a car? There's a police station. Oh. I was thinking I was going to get attacked there. But well, a man and a knife was about to attack me. Well, apparently there's a police station up ahead, I'm guessing. So, it, was that my tire? Did my tire just pop? Fuck, what else can go wrong tonight? At least the station is right down the road. I can walk. Hmm. Do we really want to, though? That is the question. Find the police station. What? Ticker tape? Can we just search through dumpsters instead? No, we cannot. Is this the police station? No, it is not. Ah. I kind of do want to explore a bit, though. I know that's the police station there, but... No, invisible walls block me at every path. At every... every guys Missing. Earl Grey T. Hang on. Was that the guy, the receptionist guy at the hotel? I think it was. Oh, no. Was I talking to you and you hung up the phone because you were slaughtered? Is that what happened? Okay. Music's getting a bit tense. I should look for a key around here. Well. Oh, I see. Ah! As luck would have it. Maybe I don't want to find whatever's going on in here. The bloodstains never mean good. Bad things happen with the bloodstains, as we found out in the Hobrook Hotel. Um, missing. You. I mean, it's funny that you have a photo of me. I haven't been reported missing. The music's gone, and suddenly all the lights are out. And there's a lot of echoey steps. Oh, seems to be some light source down here. Let's head to the light source. Ah, it's the static of a TV again. Was this all just a dream? Yeah, it looks like the sofa from the hotel. The rain is spattering on. I thought that would be the end of it, but apparently not. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have turned off the TV. Well, there you go, guys. That was apparently the end of the Holbrook Hotel because it just uh, booted me back into my desktop. So, do you know what? I actually quite enjoyed that. I like the humor. If this was made by a 14-year-old, then kudos to you because uh, that was actually quite fun. It was short, it was succinct, but that sometimes that's all you need in a horror game. I like the fact that, you know, uh, we had the... <laughs> <laughs> the crazy Homer Simpson-esque type character um, who couldn't seem to follow us into the left, which I'm actually quite glad of because um, I obviously tried to hit the, the button and it didn't go down. But I like the fact that we could explore the town a little bit. I like the fact that we were in the car. There was a lot of mechanics at play, um, you know, searching through the dumpsters with a ridiculous costume. Uh, and the crack act, though, I mean, he was the he was the bee's knees, wasn't he? Um, flying off... <laughs> after we got his prescribed or unprescribed medication. Um, yeah, I like the humor. Uh, what can you say? I like goofy things. Um, and also at the same time, it, you know, has a lot of scope, I think. I think this could we could see some future episodes. Um, why were we at the hotel? Who knows? Was it a flea-ridden hotel? Yes, it was. Um, but there you go anyway, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.